Hello, welcome to my craft room with Rhoda. Today I was going to show you a few little uh, tucks that I'm going to create where I'm finishing off uh, a couple of these packs. I think this one, which is the ephemera pack Halloween, which may have been last year since it doesn't have the date. Um, it only has a couple of things here, if, if I still do. I think maybe the little books up here is all I have left. And that one's done. Uh, I really would like to get a few more of these little things. I can't remember what they call them, but I saw somebody with one uh, that was something to do with witches, and I wish I had that one. Now, this here is the Layers and Paper Dolls 2023, and um, I'm almost going to be through with it. That's what I'm going to be working on today to show you. So, let me put those to the side, and I was going to kind of show you how you can maybe use your your background here all right sneak peek of the day we have another beautiful page from the antique phone uh digital by wonders by wink on etsy and i would wish you would go over and see it i mean it's original i mean there is nobody else that has a phone an antique phone journal digital out there it's, it's gorgeous. Now, this is one of her uh, image pages. On the back, I have one of my um, teal-colored dyed pages. That was from Icing Gel, if you're wondering. I use, I'm i using up my Wilton's Icing Gel that colors icing, and that's how I got this. I just mixed it with water, maybe some tea. I don't know. <laughs> um, sometimes I'll use tea as my base and I'll put the color in it, the gel. It mixed up real good. And then I'll dip my papers. But here is what I, I put in here. It's a flip and it's also a pocket. Where's the pocket? There it is. So I just made this little simple thing from the scraps that I had. And it's, um, also from the ephemera. This is one of her ephemera pieces. I used some more of these little metal pieces, the numbers. I thought that would be cute to have numbers going through here because I have a seven up here. Those are from the Dollar Tree. There was a little pack of, uh, I think, zero to nine. Uh, here is another little card that's in here with another just scrap. And I just put that little phone there and it tucks behind the other one. And then I just have pieces and parts. This was actually a overall background die that I've got. It's actually chicken wire, but it looks like a beehive. That's why I got it, because I wanted it to look like a beehive. On this side is also another little pocket with a piece of her um, ephemera page in it. I've got some rub ones there and there, and some of my old phone book that I got. There's another rub on. And a piece of ephemera from something else that has Jones and Graves Drug a Company on it. <laughs> Let me see. I don't have anything else up this way. This is one of the, the phone pages that I put in there from the phone book because it had the area codes and time zones. I thought that would be kind of cool. Since she also had a page in her digital that had to do with time zones. Where was that? I thought I think it's this one. She's got one. At, it, it's like the whole United States. And it, it really looks just like this one here. Alright. Well, we're up to a pocket. So I'm going to stop right there. And we'll see if I got anything in the pocket on our next look in. Alright. So, here is two... Of my little pieces I'm going to be working on. I had to lay them out here on. This is actually the piece is going to be for my haunted mansion journal. I'm going to have three. One's haunted mansion which is just going to have the pieces and pages I've been working on. Another one's going to be Poe's haunted mansion where it's going to be a mixture of the Poe kit by Kyung, you know, Wonders by Wink, and the um, images and pages that I did. And then another one is just going to be a Poe. So what happened when I put all of those together? Check that out. I figure I needed a three inch and I put a bunch of chipboard together and then I trimmed it so it was, you know, neat on either side. Um, but I think that's what I'm going to have to have to have this journal put together. And this is just the one. <laughs> this is just the simple one, I thought. But 
Yeah, I've got it in three different uh, signatures. The one with the stairs, oh my gosh, that one's thick. And I, I do have papers picked out to put in with it so I can put other items like little that's what these are going to be like tuck areas so I picked out these three that was my black and coffee dyed uh, piece that was with uh, regular acrylic paint uh, creating with Jovi had some and this was my first try at it hers were so much darker so I'm not really sure if I just didn't add enough or I did it wrong and then this is one of my oven baked ones where I used a lot of black and blue. And then this was also outside just the other week where I had splattered. It was a coffee dye. And I thought these kind of went with the, the color scheme that I've got going on in the journal. So there could be another one I pull. I don't know. Um, so anyhow, let's get to this. We have this little guy and this couple. And actually, they were not a couple. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me get them off here. All right. So what happened is there was a big piece in there that was like uh, two pieces from like a courthouse document book. So I cut them in half. I wanted that 1857. So And I needed it to be longer because I needed it to be a tuck on the page, which will be... Um, eight and a half usually, maybe eight, and uh, that'll do the, the length of one side of my page. All right, so then I have this little regulator thing here. I've got the 13 going in here, and then I have a clock. Now, these two were separate. <laughs> they were two different people, just like that. So I cut a little piece here under her arm, and I put his arm in it. And then I, usually the woman's got her arm through the man's. But oh well. But they, they turned out to be just about right on with each other. So. And then this piece was one of the background pieces from the um, kit. Ephemera pack, I mean. Uh, this one right here. Which is layers and paper dolls. And quite a few of the background pieces that I've got here are all from there. Well, actually everything, basically. Is from this and I love this little spider web card and it has like a little skeleton head up here and there's snakes around the outside so I'm going to get my glue out and we're gonna start gluing so this one I need to find out where my eight and a half is it's about right here and the other one's at the bottom let me see let me just smear a bunch of it there and figure out how far it needs to go and I needed my yeah about right there because I wanted my people to have the spider right in between their top and bottom all right so now I gotta put a little glue on this one this is usually the type of documents we look at when we go over there we look at deeds and uh, such and they and, you know births and deaths that kind of thing so we're always finding good stuff in these type of books. They're fun. All right. I actually need to wipe some glue off. I really hit the glue on there, didn't I? Okay. Now, that is about the height that I want it to be. I've got a few little pieces up here that are rip-offs from my... Um, one of those masking papers and I thought well you know I'm gonna keep it and see if I can use it somewhere I don't know that I can use it here I actually might be able to right along there yeah I can <laughs> so it's not going to affect my tuck this will be a left page tuck to go on the page I've already got it decorated up and it go right on here let's see yeah right like that I'm trying to scooch it up a little bit but it won't go oh well I'll trim it off all right go like that and I'll just finish whoops finish that off with a little more ink 
if it's ripped it does a whole lot better okay now we do need to, to trim this side as well because i made this just a little bit too big and like i said these are going to be tucks of some type or other side tuck or just a tuck tuck <laughs> all right this one i remember went all the way up here i have this odd looking white area i don't know if i can oh yeah then i'll <laughs> get rid of it this is from one of the tim holtz paper pads i've got a little bit of one left i need to try to get rid of it i've been working on it <laughs> Oh, oh, I covered up my skeleton head. I wouldn't mean it to do that. There we go. And I still have my 1857 over there. Okay, next we have 13. Let me get them on here and see. They're going to be standing right there. I'm going to go ahead and probably just glue them down. I was going to have this. It's got Regulator Almanac 1890. And I thought I would tuck that in right under his leg. So let's go ahead and do that while we have him here. Yeah. Memorandum. Okay. Now I'm going to maybe have to put this down first. Hang on. All right. I was going to put the one right there. Let's go ahead and do that because I know they have to be behind their heads. I hope everybody's doing well today. Thank you for coming to visit. I hope you see some good stuff that you might want to try to recreate yourself. I love to inspire and give you ideas and let you see what's going on in my crafting world. <laughs> I try to keep up with stuff on my Rhoda's Junk page as well. If you've never went over there, I'll usually show a little more and tell a little more about what I'm into. I'll do small videos once in a while and flip through something. I also have um, my sneaky peeks and things from my uh, Instagram page. I'll usually have them pop up on my Rotus Junk as well because it's an automatic thing <laughs> you know me I, I am technologically <laughs> challenged uh, but somehow I figured that out I, I'll fiddle with something until I get get it figured out I guess you could say some stuff I'm lucky with and some stuff I'm not alright let's get her all glued up and this one will be done I'm not exactly sure what this couple is supposed to be. They're not exactly that scary, individual, or together. <laughs> so, I was hoping the spider kind of gave you the impression that they were a kind of a, a spooky couple. Alright, I'm lowering them so they're on the base. You want to try to have them standing on something or... Yeah, so they don't look like they're floating. Carrie the Crafter, he was the first, I think, that ever really stressed that. That you wanted to, <laughs> you don't want them to be floating. You want them to be attached or look like they're solidly on the page kind of a deal. We're just going to get rid of a little bit of that white around the outside edge. And that one's done. And like I said, that one is going to be... It is just under eight and a half. It's like eight and a quarter. And it will go, in case you're interested in seeing, <clears throat> it will go on a page just like this. See, it's almost, almost top and bottom. It doesn't have to be all the way up. So when I glue it down, it's going to be glued here, here, and here. And it's going to be a tuck like that. Now, if I wanted this to hang out, I could also do it. The opposite way it could be glued down right here 
have this little flurly <laughs> stuff sticking out of the page and I could have something right here and I could almost cut a little divot right there and this is probably the stronger side to slide something in and out of so it could be I go in that direction so this is either way all right next we have our little boy and he has got all kinds of little birdies and the moon and everything it's like he's scared of the dark so that's why that's why I kind of put him here all right and I had this owl he did have a white frame around him but I got rid of that I had this gorgeous moon left I had to use it and here's another clock so the clock we'll put that down first and I thought I could also cut the owl out I did not know whether to do that or not. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do it so he will be framed by the moon. I'll do that off screen, so I'll be right back. Okay, I got that cut out. Now I'm going to just lightly ink it where that white border is now showing. And actually I might not have had to because that white moon is in behind him. That might have covered him. So, let's see. Our moon is next. Then our owl. Then our clock. And where was the owl? Was he way down or was he up? I'm trying to remember. Little boy, he was here. I should have took a picture, but then I've got my phone behind me. Or, or above me here. So, hmm. Actually, he's on a limb, so I could do like that and have him under the moon. And I had this birdie. Maybe I can put him below. Let's do that. Oh, got to put our moon down first. I may let it stick off just a little bit because it, it looks too neat being a full moon and you're able to see it all. And it actually makes... It makes it look better. I've seen that. Okay, I'm going to pull that down just a little bit. Wipe off a tad of ink I have on there. Or glue, I mean. And then we're going to do our owl. I found this little 13 in one of the old paper pads. There was a page that had nothing but numbers, like gain numbers. I was looking for a 31, but I didn't see it, so I had to set on 13. <laughs> All right, we're going to put our owl. Actually, I'm going to scoot him over because I'd like to see that edge. Yep, right like that. And I was just picking and choosing. I might even use that bird, so we'll see how it looks when I get done here. Because I was trying to find things that would finish out the look. Now, this was the sticker that Tommy gave me, and I had to cut that white core from around the outside. I can't stand those things. So, I inked it up a little bit to try to make it a little darker and not so blaring white. It sort of worked. <laughs> All right, that was enough. All right, this is kind of like the cuckoo clock. So there's another bird. <laughs> I'm actually going to stick him. Oop, where am I going to stick him? I'm going to stick him here where it kind of sticks off the side as well. We don't need him to be completely on the page. And actually, this piece of this moon might even be able to stay there. It doesn't have to be off. Now, oh yeah, his hand. Look at that. He's going to cover up the <laughs> he can put his hand on the bird. Maybe that's how we'll do it. Yeah. You can see one of those. We had a cuckoo clock. When I was growing up, Dad built the big old brick ranch in the 70s. And um, actually in 70, 1970. And uh, we had this front room. It had a living room and we had a front room. So the front room was like for guests and things. And... Um, Mom, to this day, still has the cuckoo clock right in there, and it'll go off now and then, 
you have to wind it though. That's the only thing. You have to keep winding that thing so it would keep going. Now this little bird, he could go down here. I don't see why not. He could be hopping around. Hmm. I don't really have nothing else that could go down there. I have some mushrooms. Hmm. I don't think I want that. I'll do this bird. Yeah, I watched uh, one of Tim's videos the other day, and he was showing how to do all kinds of stuff again. I, I love those so I can learn techniques. <clears throat> He's always really good about showing how to do something, and the problem is you usually need to buy something to do what he's showing. I st I'm still thinking over getting a Misty. Anybody else got a Misty out there? It's where you, it's like a stamping platform, but you're able to stamp in the same location several times in case your ink doesn't go on all the way. Yeah, I've been still working on that. Actually, let's Lift his little paw up. <laughs> and he's going to be holding the 13th. Oh. <laughs> About to take his finger off. Okay. Let's do that. He can be holding 13. In his hand. Push down real good. <clears throat> okay, I got to get off here and cut. Oh, the back of this needs repair as well. Yeah, this is going to go down, but uh, flat, but I don't want it to impede anything that might slide in and out, you know. There. All right. Look two is done, and it will look like probably like I'd, I'd choose a lower corner. I like that corner. <laughs> um, like a lower corner like this. I would glue it down here and here, and it's going to be a big tuck, so you can slide something all the way in there. So that's what that one will look like. Our next lady is this one, and if you've watched some of Tim's people, you'll probably have seen them using her in a book somewhere. All right, that goes on the outside. This goes over here, and I was trying to, I mean, I was trying to go for food, but because it has confectionery back there, because that's a really cool piece. I love that. So I think what I'm going to do is cut the bottom part off because I only need to have her in there sort of like that. And I don't want to lose let's say under confectionery we'll cut right there and I'd like to keep that piece and use it somewhere else it's a beautiful piece look at that you know it's typeset and everything all right so let's try that I also have this moon that I thought I could get in here it's one of those um, transparencies and um, it's like those butterflies I used just the other day so what we're going to try to do is glue, well, maybe we'll glue this way a little bit and see how we can do it. Okay, let's see how that works. Yeah try that. You can still see the Buffalo New York unless her head gets in the way. <laughs> now this part I was thinking of putting under or right here where it kind of reflects that way. Hmm. What do you think? Or should it go up here and you see the upper curve of it? I kind of like that better 
yeah let's try that I'm trying to figure out where I need to glue it looks like it's gonna go across right here and like there okay that might do it let's try that and I you've heard me before I'm always struggling on where to do my uh, layering <laughs> I do have trouble wanting to cover things up but I do have that <laughs> badly <laughs> all right did I get all the way down here okay since this is a tuck and you've got sorry I had that off screen since you're gonna have things going in and out of it I'm not even sure which side uh, we're gonna go put some extra glue in there More than likely, it's going to be tucked this way. I just don't know. Because once you get to putting your book together, you're wanting to put it with something that's going to look good. So you just never know which side you're going to go with. So I try to get in here and make sure all of that's down. Oh! <laughs> all of it's down to where I won't be buttoning a piece of card or something into it. Whew. I'm telling you, Zach, he, he's all raring to go on this trip. And me, I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not up to it this year, I don't think. Not that well. So I'm going to be moving slow. Ever since I had to decide, I go back in March after the first trip. I'm like, pfft, bad shape. <laughs> All right, I think I wouldn't mind doing that. And I thought of her like a fortune teller. So maybe we can have this behind her. And it's going to have an eight. We'll go ahead and put that down. I figured like figure eight, like the eight ball. <laughs> I know some of you had one of those. <laughs> so that's going to go there. I'm going to go ahead and figure out where this needs to glue down. Actually, I wonder if it could go on the right side. Let's try that. I'll just flip it around. Well, if I flip it around, you won't have her thumb. Okay. We'll stick with this side. But I want, I want a little bit of that to still show. So maybe we'll go down to here. That right there. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to do it. All right. Maybe she has a confectionery shop and she reads fortunes in the back room. Maybe that that's how it goes. And I want that how to read still to show there. <laughs> um, all right. I've got bingo. I'm just going up behind. Okay, and then I have that fragile. Wait a minute, let me. It's hard to get stuff up underneath of this as well. All right, let's see. Yeah, that'll be good. You can still see a few of the numbers. That's what I was worried about. Okay. Fragile. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move this over just a little bit because I would like to have a little bit of a stair-steppy situation there, if you know what I mean. All right. That's good. Now, I'm going to glue her down. I might have to trim some of her off, but that will be okay. Okay, okay. Oh, lordy. I've been trying to record me some 
good shows to watch here <laughs> for the Halloween season because I was so depressed last year. They just did not do a good uh, a good grouping. So I recorded The Thing with uh, Kurt Russell, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that show. Actually, I might leave that little piece of her hanging there. Uh, so I just got done watching it. It's always good, no matter how many times. It's got the coolest special effects. <laughs> and the darn creature was trying to form himself into all kinds of things. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what. I'm wanting to have, maybe I'll put a little bit more of this strip up above me here. <clears throat> on the base of this. I wanted I have red there, so I wanted a patch of red over here. And that's where this came about. With this game piece. It's also where I got the eight. But this little piece that I pulled off the other day of that other page. I kind of would like to have that. Hmm. I'm going to rip it off there and see if I can do a little bit more inking on it. <clears throat> now you could take a marker and go against this. This Distress Ink, it takes you a little bit or you need to have a really nice wet um, pad to get a really nice burnt edge look here. And that's what I am going for. I've used this uh, Ground Espresso so much, I might <laughs> be needing to reboost it a little bit. Okay, how about that? Let's see if that'll work. Okay, I might have to rip a little more off. Ugh. You just never know. Oh. All right, let's give it some glue. Yeah, any little pieces and parts that you pull off of things, keep it. If it looks like it's something you can use, I mean, I would have thrown this in the trash, but look how neat it's decorating up the pieces that I have here. I see Marlise always putting something on the bottom of her stuff. She has a neat decorating style as well. I love to watch her. Now I have a little bit of glue. I'm sure that has came out there. So we'll wipe that off. All right, that one's done. And we have a little extra piece to boot. <laughs> so I don't know whether I want to cut that extra trim off of there or not. But I'm going to leave it for now. So let's go to our last. I'm trying to get it. Oh, I dropped a piece somewhere. Hang on. <laughs> what did I drop? Oh, I didn't drop anything. It was to remind me to tag something at the end of one of my videos. Okay. So this couple is a couple. I have a transparent butterfly. And... I'm using this as the base, and it looks a lot like, you know, some they're going to a funeral, and they're in black and everything, so it looks like that could be it. This here is the other half of the uh, piece I used at the beginning, um, and what we're going to do is just turn it sideways. I have the 1857 showing, but I'm going to have to cut off this one side. It doesn't have to be this. Uh, it's just a, a small tuck. It's not going to be like an eight and a half by page size tuck. I only had one of those. All right. So it's going to go here about like this. But they needed to be on something because they're at the lower side here. And it looks like they're setting on the edge, as you can see. 
but it may be I need to move this up a tad. Let me put a little bit more glue down here. Because I'm thinking it'll look like they have their feet on the base if I do this just right. Let's see. Before I push it down. Yep, that'll be it right there. I need to push it down a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to trim this piece off right here. <laughs> Another piece <laughs> for something. You can always use them. We're going to ink around here. All right. Oh, then do the bottom. There we go. So now their heads were kind of lost here. So I wanted to have something behind them, maybe like this. And I forget which way I had it, maybe like that. I like the not forgotten to be seen. So I'll probably put this like down like that. Yeah. So let me, oh, oh, no, I had it the other way, didn't I? I, I? I moved it, and I liked it because I had the candle on top. All right, so let's see. I think I had it along the edge here. I still wanted to see the 1857. Yeah, I think that's it. So right above the 1857. I'm not going to worry about inking it or anything. Whoa. Okay. Right about here. I know you can see the gone, but it's going to disappear here in a second. <laughs> um, then I've got a candle. I had made this to go in my garden, the cemetery, the other day. And um, that other door was so big, I couldn't get one of those little, uh, the little uh, flower potty things to actually work. So... I thought, well, you know, somebody always burns a candle for somebody in remembrance. So I said it'll work here. All right. Now, I got to go ahead and get them fixed up. And his arm looks like it's leaning on something. And it, this looks like the back of a bench. So I thought that was perfect. Worked just right. Okay, now he is sitting like right there. Yeah, they're almost to the bottom. I'm good with that. <laughs> now the, the transparent butterfly I thought would look like wings, like angel wings. So I didn't know whether to do it something like that. Or to have the wing coming out the side. I kind of like that. Where it's kind of coming out the top. And where's the eight and a half? If he is right here. He's kind of like right at eight and a half. So let's go for it. Go ahead and glue him down right here and below. Yeah, I'm trying to think, what in the world would I use these big butterflies for? And I thought, yeah, I could do that on here. <laughs> All right, and that makes that 8.5 by 11. I'm trying to get it centered there. Oh, moved on me. That's kind of slippery, that acetate. So when you're gluing, just make sure it doesn't slide around on you. All right, I think we're done. I'm going to show you all the ones that we got done today. 
And I really think all my subscribers and viewers are coming to watch. Oh, I almost dropped the little boy. Okay. So, we have this one we did first. I'll do a close-up. We have the clock. <laughs> it's 13 o'clock. <laughs> we have the spider web. We can still see the skull. You can sort of see the snakes. And the regulator almanac. And then we have the little boy. I think he was next. And that piece there, I'm going to see if I can, yeah, darken it a little bit. So we have the little boy, and he's afraid of the dark. And <clears throat> oh, we have all this time stuff here. We got the owl framed in the moon. He's holding 13. Maybe that's 13 o'clock as well. <laughs> And we have the little birdie down here at the bottom. And it's got that owl word in certain spots that you can see. So it ties it all in. I really like that one. Then we have this one with the lady who probably reads <laughs> palms in the back of her confectionery shop. And uh, like I said, I still have this kind of a white edge on the outside of that. I don't know if I'll get rid of it or if I'll just round that corner. But it also reflects this corner, so I'm not sure. Uh, it might just be done as it is. And I don't know that I'll find any other words to add to these. I guess I'll wait and see when I get around to that point. And here's the one in Loving Remembrance. And as you can see, the butterfly, he's sticking out the top. There's dove, so there's more wings. And... The 1875 or 1857 down here was kind of out of date <laughs> because it didn't start to 1873. I think I was dyslexic and thought that was 1875. <laughs> All right. Well, condemned but not forgotten. <laughs> That's about what this comes out to be. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and you got a few ideas how you could work with some of your pieces and your scraps that's left over finishing off a pack I still have just a few little things up here this I have no clue what to do with and I have two little things I can put rub-ons on and then I had a 33 I almost went on here somewhere but it didn't all right well I thank you everybody come back again and visit me another time and see what else is happening everybody have a great day bye